Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to talk about graphics, specifically about ordering graphics, sending them backward and forward, and about captions and tables of figures and tables. To start with, I have this document, which includes tables and it includes other images. So uh, maybe I want to put a frame behind this table other than changing the border. So I'll insert the shape and I want to use this as a frame for the table. So if I send it to the back, I won't see the table. So I need to select the picture, right click on it, go to send to back and wait a bit for this menu to load. So I'll hover over this arrow and wait for this menu to load and select send behind text. So again, if I insert the shape, let's insert another shape here, and I send it backward, it won't appear behind the text. And here I have an image and it didn't appear behind it because this image is moving with the text. So when I select this image in its options, so if in its picture tools format, I can see in the wrap text, it's in line with text. So it's acting like text. So my first solution is to send the new graphic behind text. That's solution number one. Or if I undo this, let's undo this, we can select this and change its layout. So picture tools format, and I go to wrap text and select something else, maybe top and bottom. And now this is acting as a picture again. It's not acting as a text. And I can send this to the front. I can send it to the back. I have no problem anymore. Again, if I want to send this over behind the text, I have to right click on it, go here, wait for this to load and select send behind text. So we can enter our shapes the way we want. Again, let's uh, do one ordering example again. So I'll insert this here and it's hiding the numbers. I can right click sent to back and it's behind the numbers and again this is not acting as text if i change it to act like text so in the picture tools format i go to wrap text and select in line with text no matter how much i send this one backward it won't go behind it unless i send it behind the text so enough with ordering let's delete these So let's start with captioning this table, right click and insert caption and it automatically shows here table one. I can select exclude label from caption. It will exclude the label. Now I can select the label from here. It's table figure and I can, I can include or exclude the label. So the caption is changing to match the label or equation. Now the equation by default has the position above it. The figure has the position below it. This is the standard and the table has the position above it again. So it will by default change the position to match the standard, but I can change it if I want. So this is a table. The caption is above it. And uh, again, I'll caption it. So vertical bar. Hertz. And I'll go to numbering. I can select include chapter number. The chapter number is in heading two this time. I'll select OK. And uh, it gave me the warning, but it still managed to detect this. And I'm in table one dash one. OK. Type table I dash one, in fact. So if I select the other table, right click, insert caption again, it's table one dash two. And I can add the caption again. Can add the label equals 25 kilohertz. This time maybe I'll go to numbering and I'll remove this one. I'll untick it. Okay. Okay. So this is table two and it automatically updated table one to remove the number. So that's the beauty of using captions. It will automatically caption things. I don't have to worry about the numbering. Right click insert caption this is table three so in table three nine meters hmm. 
maybe on my way I can select the table and go to table tools layout select auto fit auto fit contents and do the same for this one so let's caption this again right click insert caption okay maybe if I change the numbering to Roman numerals it will also update the other tables and if I go to the text styles I'll notice that I have a style labeled caption and I can modify it to modify all the captions at once so if I want all the captions to be in red I can change the color just like I modify any other style okay and I changed all the captions at once let's caption the figures so right click on this figure insert caption and this time this is a figure the position is below it and uh, i'll uh, exclude the chapter number this time i don't want the chapter number this is figure one percentage of reception at 250 kilohertz i got the caption here and I'll caption this one again okay so I have these two at the end I'm gonna insert a table of tables and a table of figures so I go to the references tab and here I select insert table of figures and I want to insert a table of figures with the caption label being table and OK it says that I have table 1 on page 1 table 2 table 3 and table 4 so now I'll go to insert table of figures I'll select the caption label as figure I'll go to modify and I'll modify it a bit so maybe I want this one to have another font I can do that this is Cambria and uh, I want it with a dark blue color and okay 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 and these changed to match what I selected so that was it for today thanks for watching